Hey everybody, welcome. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we're going to do your 2021 forecast for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for your career and finance. All right, so career finance for 2021. Uh, this is a general and an intuitive reading, so not every message will resonate with every single person. So as always, take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind for somebody else. All right, so... Um, also, this, uh, the energies from this reading will last for all of 2021, so regardless of when during the year uh, you find this uh, message, there will be um, some information in here for you, all right? So, let's see where we go here. Gemini, messages for 29, Gemini, 2021 career and finance, please. Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Change in the wind. All right. First energy out. And then we have blessed. Okay. And then we have community. All right. Interesting energies here. So I feel like for some of you, there's going to be a bit of a shakeup um, at the beginning of the year. Okay. Um, or at some point throughout the year, these energies can all overlap. All right. So um, but there is some sort of shakeup, something that you didn't expect to happen. All right. But um, there's blessings there. Okay. It happens for a reason and there's blessings there. Um, and you will persevere and you will have success, but you're not going to do it alone. You might have to rely on friends and family, um, career networking. All right. Um you might need to ask for some sort of help and you could actually end up in the course of that um, helping other people because you've turned something um, potentially negative into something positive, okay? And that's by trusting in yourself and trusting in the universe. So I feel for some of you here, I feel for some of you, like it's not, a, I don't feel it's a negative thing at all. It's actually very positive. So um, because we have these two energies playing out together, okay, some of you could, it could have to do with a, a, a job, okay, you may have lost a job or you may have been going for a promotion and you may have not have gotten it or you may have been overlooked and someone else may have gotten it. So that can have you feeling a little bit um, uh, disappointed in yourself um, or in the situation. However, this is also a reminder that everything is as it's meant to be. So if there's an opportunity that you feel has passed you by at the moment, okay, you do have blessings coming your way. It's almost as though um, it's almost as though you have been guided towards something different because what's passed you by or what you've lost is not part of your soul purpose. It's not part of your life plan. Okay. And there is something better coming your way because the blessed, the blessed card here, it is a beautiful energy. So this is blessings that you didn't expect. So it's like, um, for one thing lost, something else is gained, but something better than what you could have actually hoped for. Okay, so um, it, it's not always easy to live in that energy right when something is happening to you, especially if you had your heart set on something, okay? But what this will do is this will put you more in tune with your life purpose, with your life path, right? And this could have you um, being in a situation that is better for your soul, better for your emotions, and um, just all around better for you. Okay. You could be in a position where you're helping people. Um, and then people might also be helping you. All right. Um, this card also comes with a reminder, try not to be everything to everybody. Okay. All at the same time. However, um, this is, believe it or not, this is good fortune. So if you are currently in this, this energy where you're trying to go for something and, um, you know, or maybe you've already, being passed over for that promotion, there is something better 
coming for you, okay? So pay attention, keep, um, um, keep your chin up, okay? Always keep your chin up. Keep doing your due diligence, right? If you're looking for a job, keep putting resumes out there, um, you know, um, but make, make, try and, uh, try and put resumes out for positions that actually you're interested in. Okay. Because otherwise you just, you're either not going to get the ones that, you know, don't really work for you anyway. Okay. Um, and you know, you don't want to set yourself up for too much disappointment. All right. Which is uh, certainly a possibility, but, um, but I feel that you have your heart set on something and something's going to happen along the way. You're either not going to get it. You're going to be passed over for it. Um, you could even, again, be losing a job that you perhaps really uh, maybe don't love. Okay, but at least puts food on the table, right? But for everything lost, there's something better along the horizon. And there's better blessings coming in for you there. So don't despair. All right, don't despair. And... Uh, this one came flying out, actually landed on the floor. So um, I'll, I'll walk you through these energies. So I'm pulling the Celtic cross for you in my version here. But um, yeah, some of you could be going through this right now because the first card out as your situ current situation is the tower. All right, so certainly something is, um, uh, is changing for you and it's not, you weren't expecting it, I think. All right. So, and then we have the two of swords is your challenge. Your foundation is the seven of cups. Your recent past is the eight of swords here. Your immediate future is the moon. What's crowning you, your goals is the emperor. Move that up a little bit. Your advice and way forward is the Seven of Wands. The Hermit is your external influences. Your hopes and fears, we have the Chariot. And then your long-term outcome is the Hanged Man. All right. All right, thank you. So interesting energies here interesting interesting all right so we'll dive right in so your current energy your current situation is the tower okay so um the wonderful thing about tarot is that if you already haven't had something that's kind of shaken up your world uh, now you can prepare for it, okay? Because there's there is something coming. This is the tower is sudden and unexpected change. All right, so something maybe again you um, you could have been you could have had all of your hopes and dreams tied into a promotion that maybe unexpectedly goes to somebody else. There might be an external candidate in your uh, existing organization that walks in the door that they just don't want to let walk away. Okay, it could be another colleague um, that maybe you didn't think would get it and something went their way and it didn't go yours, okay? For some of you also, this could be uh, um, a financial loss or the loss of a job. Maybe your company folds, all right? There's a lot of that going on in 2020. Um, continuing in 2021 but either way it's something that completely you don't expect and it's gonna it's shaking up your world okay um, it's a it's it's not the uh, well in this case it's not always the best energy right I mean towers don't always have to be bad and they usually do um, lead to something a lot better okay but now that you know that um, that there's something unexpected on the horizon, you can mentally prepare for it, okay? And let me just get a couple clarifiers on that. Clarify the tower for me, please. The Magician, King of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands, okay? So this is something that's going to leave you uh, leave you a little stressed, okay? Uh, leave you out, leave you a little stressed and wondering uh, where you're going to go next with the Ten of Wands. But um, you could currently, you could currently be in a job where 
maybe maybe it's not serving your best interest. The Ten of Wands is a very stressed out energy. It's one of being overburdened of having the weight of the world on your shoulders. Um, you could be in a position now where maybe you have to be everything to everybody. So everyone comes to you for all of the answers. You don't have time in the day. You don't have time for a lunch break. You, um, you go home uh, exhausted at the end of the day. But, you know, at least it puts food on your table. Okay, the King of Pentacles. So maybe it pays you well. Um, you know, it might pay you well and you might, um, uh, you might have a lot of authority, uh, in that position. Okay. But man, oh man, is, is it ever leaving you tired and drained and you want to nap by the end of the day? You don't want to deal with anyone else at the end of the day. Okay. Um, so, so in that case, if that's, if that's the case, then, you know, this shakeup might not be a bad thing for you. Okay. So for others, um, for others of you here, this can be, um, this can be, again, it can be your, it could be your company folding. Okay. Um, maybe you guys have been trying to make it work out all throughout the pandemic and maybe it's just not working in your favor. It's just not, um, uh, it's just not sustainable anymore. All right. And as much as you guys have, have tried to keep it going, right, this can, uh, the King of Pentacles here that can represent you or it can represent your, um, uh, your boss, your leader. Okay. And you guys are, um, really trying to make something happen here with the magician. You're trying to manifest a, uh, manifest something new with that. Okay, something that can makes the company continue or your job continue is just not working. Okay, this can also represent you trying to um, get a promotion, um, uh, find um, uh, find your new way up. Maybe the uh, promotion that was um, maybe the promotion that was up was for that leadership role, one that would bring you in a whole pile of money. Okay, but. It would leave you tired and overworked so you know it's just really not not necessarily in your best interest all right so the tower comes in the universe steps in and says nope this isn't for you we have something better for you okay so now you're trying to see your way forward your challenge is the two of swords so you're trying to see your way forward and it's like you you weren't expecting it and now you don't know what to do you don't know where to go so um you're thinking about things you're thinking about what steps to do next all right and you're just not really too sure at the moment okay you just you um the towers are are difficult energy okay so we're not going to lie about that right they're difficult energy and that can throw you for a loop right so um you might need to take a minute okay take a minute try and see your way forward and break free so and that's exactly what this two of swords energy is right it's like trying to decide your new path your new direction what do i want to do next what opportunities are there for me next that are you know might come up all right um you have a lot of options available to you this is your foundation so i feel that you are actually very desirable Okay, you might have a lot of skill, a lot of experience, a lot of maturity that you can draw from. Okay, the Seven of Cups, this is in your foundation. So you have a lot to offer. Um, this King of Pentacles could have been you in that leadership role, right? So um, if that's the case, you have a lot of experience. You have a lot of information, a lot of knowledge. Um a lot of options that you can draw from. Um, it feels like this maybe wasn't your first job or your first career or your first outlook, okay? It feels like you have a lot to offer somebody, all right? And you just can't quite see your way forward with the Eight of Swords. This is self-sabotage energy right here, okay? So this is perhaps on some level, all right, because the Eight of Swords is it's a self-sabotage energy, but it's also one of feeling trapped, right? And feeling trapped and bound. So as we saw with the Ten of Wands that came out with the tower here, um, perhaps this job wasn't really for you. It wasn't really for your long term. 
and uh, the universe stepped in and said, no, we're going to relieve you of that because it's not working for you anymore. Um, because the Eight of Swords is, a, is that energy of um, feeling trapped as well, right? And we already saw you're overburdened and overworked. Okay, so, um, so when you're in that energy and you can't, um, if you can't break out of it on your own, then there's your tower moment. Okay, that might happen. And it doesn't mean you want it to happen necessarily, okay? Because um, maybe you didn't have time to plan or, uh, of course, with the ten, of, the ten of Wands, you probably didn't have time for anything, right? All you did was work, 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 and go home and crash on the couch and just, you know, um, uh, not have time for anything else, right? So you were trapped with it. You were bound with it. Let's clarify that Eight of Swords and see what else comes up with that. Clarify the Eight of Swords, please. Page of Cups. Knight of Swords. And the Four of Cups. All right, so... Oops. So, yeah, so... <laughs> you were wanting something new anyway. Okay, you're wanting something new because this this job this career um wasn't fulfilling for you okay this is your energy this is uh the four of cups this is being stuck basically um you're not interested you can't see your way forward um it's not fulfilling it's not emotionally fulfilling um this is sometimes an energy of just your heart's not in it anymore all right, and you're actively, you know, you're looking for something new. You're thinking about something new. The Page of Cups is something new, something that's uh, emotionally fulfilling, something that, you know, um, where you can go home at the end of the day and feel happy, feel happy with yourself that you've made a difference, perhaps, all right, made a difference in your life and someone else's life. Okay, but at the very least, you, you come home still with a sense of fulfillment and a sense of joy. And it feels here with the Knight of Swords that you were, um, you were already in an energy of wanting to break free. Okay, and of wanting to see a different direction, a different path. All right, so, and, uh, and again, when you're in that, when you're in that energy, um, that that leaves you open for the universe to send you say oh okay um you can't quite break yourself free i'm going to give you a helping hand all right so your immediate future we have the moon okay so this feels very much like there's hidden opportunities that are around you that you're um either uh either you don't see right now Okay, or you're not ready to see right now. The moon is a very intuitive energy. Um, it's also one of illumination and revealing things. So revealing what is hidden. Okay, so there's something hidden from you that you're not quite seeing. And don't forget with the seven of cups energy here um, in your foundation, you have a lot to offer, probably more than you actually know. Okay, so you have an awful lot to offer people. So let's clarify the moon. Clarify the moon for me, please. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. And the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So. Keep your options open. Okay. Keep your options open and look in places you wouldn't normally look. All right. Is what I'm getting here. So. Look at careers that you wouldn't have normally thought of. There's opportunity there that you're not seeing or you haven't been able to see. Okay, interesting, very interesting energy. And again, with the Seven of Cups, you have a lot to offer people, right? So this feels to me that you need to... Yeah, thank you. You need to look in places you wouldn't normally look. Look at a career you wouldn't normally look at because um, your goal is a leadership position with the emperor, okay? 
the emperor is a leadership position, someone that's in charge, someone that's very successful, knowledgeable, mature, has everything going in their favor. Um, and so it feels here that you're looking for a leadership role, okay? Something where you can draw on all of your knowledge and experience to bring about success. You Again, you have a lot to offer, all right? But you need to look somewhere where you wouldn't normally look. Okay, that requires with these seven of pentacles here. Okay, that requires um, review, review of yourself, look at your resume, redo your resume, um, have a good, solid, grounded look at what you have to offer at your past experiences. All right, because you do have a lot by the looks of this. All right, and you might need to be a little patient. Okay, but this is taking stock. This is being patient, but this is also reviewing and looking at what you have built so far and looking where you've come from and finding a way forward to the future. Okay, don't sell yourself short. The Seven of Swords energy here um, can be one of, um, uh, of deceit or betrayal. So don't betray yourself of any opportunities that might present themselves to you in places where you wouldn't normally look. All right, because there's abundance there for you. So this queen of pentacles right here could be um, a friend or a relative, could be someone um, that you might meet somewhere along the way that has this golden opportunity for you. Okay, and it might be someone that you might meet them uh, you might be going for a walk, right? To clear your head. You might go out for a walk one day. The queen of pentacles is very in tune with nature as well. So you could be, and then the seven of pentacles, of course, we also have nature involved with that energy also. So you could just be randomly meeting this person and you might help them out of a sticky situation somewhere along the way. And you could meet them, get to talking, and they could hold a key for you. They could hold an opportunity for you that you wouldn't normally have, have noticed before. This can also be um, uh, you leveling up once you look at opportunities um, uh, that are hidden. Okay, this can be you embracing that opportunity. But the Queen of Pentacles is one of knowledge, one of maturity, one of that grounding energy, but also very abundant and very stable. Okay, so this could even also be a relative here. But I think the key here is to leave no stone unturned and look at yourself in a new light. Look at your opportunities in a new light and look at what you wouldn't normally have seen. Okay, very strong message coming out about that. Okay, and don't forget, we do have blessings as well, right? And those are hidden blessings that you wouldn't normally see. Okay. So your goal, of course, we already uh, covered this a little bit, is the emperor. So you want to be in a leadership position. You want to draw on all of your past knowledge and experience in order to lead other people. You can guide other people with this energy, okay? And you do have that. Um, the emperor is also very committed. This is all four kings rolled into one. It's a masculine energy, one filled with power and determination and drive and leadership, okay? But it does not have to be a male. You can be male or female, but you can just have this, these very masculine qualities and successful qualities behind you, okay? So this is, your, this is your goal. This is what you want, all right? So advice advice from spirit, how to move forward. Seven of wands, rise above any challenges, rise above your competition. Don't be afraid to be seen. Don't be afraid to be noticed. Harness your inner energy, your inner passion, your inner creativity, and find your way, okay? Find your way forward. Shine, right? Shine like, you know, shine, let all of your opportunities, um, uh, let all of your past, how do I want to say that? Let all of your past experiences allow you to rise above any obstacles, any competition that comes your way, okay? This, uh... This figure here is almost looks like he's floating, right? But this is about being seen. So let's clarify this one for you. Clarify the seven of wands, please. Oh, there we go. Eight of cups. 
King of Wands, and Nine of um, Cups. All right. So follow your heart. Walk away from anything that didn't serve you. Go in a new path. Look for a new direction, but follow your heart. All right. Embrace any opportunity, but embrace the ones that fill you with that passion and that do um, give you that emotional fulfillment, okay? But um, be wise, be calm, draw on your intuition, okay? Follow your, um, uh, follow your inner guidance here and follow your dreams. The Nine of Cups is um, your wish fulfillment card, okay? And this is advice from spirit. Follow your dreams. Don't be afraid to dream big because there's blessings in the universe coming towards you. Okay, so don't be afraid to follow your dreams. Rise above that competition, right? Follow your heart because there's something better for you. Cause this wasn't working for you anyway. All right, so external influences, we have the hermit. Okay, so quite often here, um, external influences can quite often be people that are um, influencing your situation or that can have an influence on your situation. In this case, it's the hermit. So I feel that... Um, spirit, the universe is very much on your side here and guiding you forward in a new path that you didn't see before. Okay. Cause the hermit is one of, um, looking within using your intuition, um, listening to your wisdom. So it feels here with this energy that you need to tap into, um, tap into the power of the universe and really listen to your inner guidance, right? We do have very strong energies of that already, right? We have the moon, inner wisdom, right? Listening to your um, intuition, illuminating things, right? The emperor, another very strong energy, okay? Harnessing the power, the hermit, harness your inner wisdom, harness the power of the universe, use your internal compass to listen for that guidance that moves you forward, okay? You're gonna have some sort of epiphany here, okay? Don't forget the tower, of course, we also had not the nicest energy necessarily, but again, universe is working with you here as much as it might not feel like it. So clarify this hermit. King of swords, three of swords, and the six of uh, swords. All right, so this here, again, Use your inner wisdom to gain your ultimate clarity. The King of Swords is clarity, ultimate clarity, to see your way forward past the energy of depression and sadness, break your way free out of that and move on to something better. There's better opportunities for you. Listen to your inner, listen to your inner guidance. Okay, so watch for signs and synchronicities right? And again, that power of the moon, you need to listen to your inner guidance. Okay. There's things you're not seeing and where you wouldn't normally have looked. This can also have you moving. Look in other cities. Okay. Other cities, even if it's just like an hour commute away. Okay. Because this is, this can quite often be a travel card moving from troubled waters into calmer seas, but it can also be, um, um, uh, uh, an energy of moving. Okay. But this can also be part of this, uh, seeing things clearly. You might want to look at, um, a corporation that is more global, right? Set your sights bigger than maybe what you already had. Okay. So, but you have to listen to your inner, inner guidance, inner intuition. So, um, your hopes and fears, chariot, destiny propelling you forward. You are wanting to harness, um, the power within to move yourself forward. You want success. You want victory. Okay. But you want something that, um, uh, you want something that you can't fail at. Okay. So the chariot is an energy of, um, the chariot is an energy of grabbing the bull by the horns, okay, but in a universally guided way. Um, it's a balanced energy, 
but it's more of like a forceful energy. It's, it's an energy of strength, drive, determination, propelling you forward, moving you towards success. Okay. So this is your hope. This is your dream. This is what you want. All right. This is in the um, hopes and fears category. So um, you could also be afraid of moving forward too fast, afraid of success. Okay. So if that sounds like you, you need to break free from that, right? Because you could block yourself with that energy, right? And things are moving really fast and a little bit chaotic, um, you know, for the first little while here, right? So you could actually be afraid of something new, afraid of the future, okay? So whether that is your hope or your fear, combination of both most likely, okay? Don't be afraid, right? Follow your heart, follow your dreams, so let's just give this a little bit of a clarifier here. The lovers, the queen of wands, and the fool, okay? So follow your heart. You're looking for something that is a better partnership for you than what you previously had, okay? You could also be afraid of that, right? Afraid of success, afraid of joy, but you need to embrace it. This needs to be your, you, you know, your hope, right? Your hope for something that gives you that connection that you didn't have before, right? Remember, we do have community up here, all right? So um, you're maybe looking for something that has more of a global picture, something that um, gives you a spiritual fulfillment as well as a monetary one, all right? And then we have the Queen of Wands. So listen to your soul, listen to your heart here. Um, take action on something, all right? And we do have the Fool, so you might be afraid of going on a new adventure, okay? Afraid of, um, almost afraid of success for some of you, I think, okay? Because you have major disappointment over here and now as much as you want to move forward and as much as you want that success and you want, um, you know, to, uh, to have something new, some of you might also be a little bit afraid of it, a little bit hesitant of it. So um, try and put your try and put your trust in the universe that something good, something better is coming along the line for you. OK, and again, follow your heart. Listen to your intu inner intuition. OK, long term outcome. We have the hanged man. Surrender, surrender to spirit, surrender to the universe. All right. The hanged man is um I'll clarify him because the hanged man is um uh an energy of gaining a different perspective looking at things a different way gaining enlightenment but it can also be an energy of surrender not surrender to uh it's surrender to the universe surrender to the energies of the universe trust that trust that things are going to go your way right which is exactly what the fool usually is right um, a leap of faith, right? That's both your hope and your fear. Okay. So surrender, trust that there's blessings coming your way. All right. Let's just clarify the hanged man, please. We have the world. Look at that queen of swords and the sun. Look at you. Look at you. Okay. The tower's there to teach you something. Surrender to the universe long-term and look at that successful completion. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. This is everything in alignment. Everything that you ever wanted for is yours for the taking, allowing you to move forward into the future with success, with happiness, with prosperity, queen of swords. All right. Deep soulful intuition, success, wonderment, um, uh, full mental clarity. Okay. This is a um, someone that would be in a position of leadership, but with a lot of success. Okay. Someone open and honest, um, with a deep intellect. Okay. So this feels like maybe you, you didn't quite get your emperor. Okay. But you know what? Queen of swords with, so with the world is also pretty good. Okay. Really good. And ultimate happiness with the sun. Beautiful energy here. Like if you want success, if you want success, the world and the sun, there's just nothing really better. Okay. And this is you stepping into that leadership position, that position of authority. 
right? You're drawing on all of your experiences, your inner wisdom, your your power, your creativity, your intellect, you name it. This is you right there, okay? So leave no stone unturned. Trust that the universe has a plan for you. There's something better for you, right? Remember, you're blessed, okay? You do have a lot of blessings here. And community here, again, it can be people i feel i feel most i feel most here that this is related to a possible career path that could actually be more in line with a um something that a career path that can help other people and not just yourself, so helping people along the way. But I also feel like this is your community of your spirits, angels, guides, helping you along the way. They've broken you out of something that wasn't working and they're moving you towards something better, but you gotta look for it, okay? So um, interesting reading for you, okay? Stay strong, okay? Stay strong as you're going through this tower because you do have a lot of experience behind you and a lot of um, a lot of helping hands are stepping in here this is a lot of major arcana in this reading for you okay so these are life lessons that you are needing to go through and you know but there's a lot of help and guidance here as well okay so I'm gonna leave it at that that's what I have for you guys so I really hope that 2021 treats you well Okay, a little bit of a shakeup, but it looks like things will work out in the end, all right? So um, I do wish you all the best of luck, and I uh, hope you have a prosperous 2021. And I uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.